So this one gives us um, the infinite series from 1 to infinity of the following, n over n squared plus 1 to the 3 fifths. And it, ask, it asks us to apply the integral test. So we're using the integral test to see whether this um, converges or diverges. So um, what we're going to do first is put this in terms of f of x. So to, in order to do that, to do that um, you just replace all the n's with x's. So this is the most um, <laughs> satisfying part, I'd say. I mean, it's pretty easy. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. So we start with that. That's our first step. And now we're just going to take the integral from 1 to infinity of this f of x uh, dx. So then we're just going to put that in there. And we have our dx. So now um, on the next step, I'm going to implement the handy dandy r. Remember, um, if you recall this for the improper integral, right? So we have x over x squared plus 1 to the 3 fifths dx. And here we have a u sub going on. So u could equal x squared plus 1. And du is then 2x dx. So then dx is going to be du divided by 2x. OK, so now um, we just keep rewriting this limit in the front, as we always do. And then uh, I'm going to refrain from putting in the bounds here, uh, just because I'm subbing in the u's. So then we'll have. Uh, the x still on top, and then u to the 3 fifths. And then we have, for in for dx is du over 2x, so the x's cancel. And we're left with limit as r goes to infinity of um, 1 half, and then u to the negative 3 over 5 du. Okay? Um, so then, from here, we have... Uh, we're going to get, I'm going to bring this uh, 1 over 2 outside, so I'll put that in front. Technically, you can go all the way in front of the limit. Um, so yeah, and then with this u, I'm going to integrate it. So then we get a positive 2 over 5 as the power. So we need a 5 over 2 in front to compensate, right? Um, okay, and then in the next step, I will replace it with x's. So we actually, well, I could have combined those. Hold on. One moment here. Let me go back. So this 5 over 2 and the 1 half in front can combine to make a 5 over 4. And then I'll write the limit again. And u is now um, x squared plus 1, right? And now we have it raised to the 2 fifths power, OK? And now I can replace the bounds. So this is from 1 to r. And now I'll plug in our capital R. So we have 5 over 4. And the limit's still there because we're not plugging in infinity just yet. Um, and then we have r squared plus 1 to the 2 over 5 minus 1 squared plus 1 to the 2 over 5. OK. And then um, since this is kind of long, I'm going to continue on the next slide. OK. So what we have um, in effect here is when we plug in infinity in for the r spot, we're going to get um, infinity to the 2 fifths, basically. Well, that turned out weird. To the 2 fifths minus um, 2 to the 2 fifths, which is really insignificant. And this turns out to be um, infinity. So because the integral, so we're going to write out since, because what we just evaluated now is the integral from 1 to infinity. So since this of f of x dx um, diverges, really, uh, that's that means in actuality. The infinity means that it diverges. Uh, then, and we're going to write, uh, this is our conclusion, that the infinite sum, um, or the infinite series of the same thing but represented by n's, so the thing that we started with, uh, must diverge as well. Diverge. And um, it's a good habit to get in uh, by you, by uh, writing which test you used each time, uh, just so you get them straight and know when to use what by integral test. Okay? <laughs>